it's for good measure because the set just kind of sucks. Hello everyone, it's Nate and welcome back to the channel. Today, new product, and we got the Palafin EX box. This is about $21, $22. Um, local game stores, Target, Walmart, all that fun jazz. So let's just start ripping this open. Unfortunately, uh, there's only four packs of them, which makes me kind of sad. And one of the packs I can already see is my absolute favorite. It should be Obsidian Plains, which is right there. Uh, if you watched this channel before, you know I have a very, very high dislike of Obsidian Flames. Um, it's for good measure because the set just kind of sucks. Obviously, the only real hit in there is Charizard and Pidgeot. And on top of that, even the major hit, I don't know, it's roughly 40 bucks in comparison to the rest. The collector in me just doesn't like the sheer fact that they've reprinted Charizard, uh, that particular Charizard, like nine times. I'm grossly exaggerating, but that's what it feels like. All right, we'll put the palafin right there. Here is a giant palafin. Very nice. Let's move you off to the side. All right, our four packs are two Twilight Masquerades, at least, and Temporal Forces, and then the MVP Obsidian Flames. I am gonna open up the Obsidian Flames first because, dear Lord, do I not want to save this for dead last. The only thing I want to see in here is like the Pidgey illustration line. That's about it. I could care less otherwise. Ponyard, Lillipup, Crabrawler, Clefairy, Dugtrio, Solrock, Toad Scroll, Dartrex Reverse, Gramble Reverse, and then Toxicity. Ugh, well, now that that lovely poison is out of the way. All right, Temporal Forces. Um, illustration lines. Iron Crown and Raging Bolt, actually. I would love to see Raging Bolt. I know we've pulled Gouging Fire Gold and Iron Boulder Gold. So yeah, maybe maybe the pen, or Paradox Mons as gold. That would be nice. Poochiana, Wiglet, Melton, Seedot, Ancient Energy Booster Capsule, Rapidash, Bolton, Licky Licky Reverse, Finison Reverse, and then a Drampa Never Ending Dragon. Twilight Masquerade. The infamous search for a Greninja special illustration. Although, just go ahead and give me an Eevee illustration as well. I would love to just have an Eevee for every Eevee evolution. It would just be ridiculous. Tatsugiri Reverse, Chimchill Reverse, and then a Blissey EX. Silly Blissey. I'm, I'm just glad we got a hit in the four packs. Um, lately, whenever I do like these really small box, small boxes like with four boosters, ever since like the Iono Special Illustration, it's just like maybe a small hit, which is the Blissey, and then absolutely nothing else. Didn't want to go below that bottom line. All right. Last pack magic. Good ninja illustration. Ducklet. Ninetales. Trevenant. Mola. Agron. Clefable. Cook. Helios reverse. Corefish reverse. Come on. Just a hit. Alakazam. Standard. Rare. Now. As I said, this is roughly a $20, $21 thing. You get four boosters. The Palafin isn't useful in competitive, at least to my knowledge it isn't. And the four boosters, granted, two from the newest, one is the previous, and then Obsidian Flames. Obsidian Flames is dirt, so who cares about that one? So you're roughly paying $21 for three boosters. It's like $7 per booster. Uh, it's cheaper just get them individually. Is it worth it? 
not really. Um, if you go to a proper card store, City of Flames is probably like $3 and the rest is blah. All right, guys, I hope this video was informative. Uh, please drop a like and subscribe down below. Check out one of the many videos that are popping up. It's only two, but still, check them out. And have a beautiful and blessed day. Happy pulling. Deuces.